Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and it is the first Tuesday of the month. Unreal Engine developers, you know what that means. It is time for Epic Games to do their monthly giveaway. Uh, this is Unreal's Christmas in October, or I suppose we should say Halloween in October. They've given away five free assets that are yours forever, so long as you buy them before the first Tuesday of next month, plus one addition to the permanently free collection. And you're going to notice there is a very Halloween theme. This is asset number one we are looking at right now. This is the Zombie Movement and Modular Interaction Animation Pack. And it is, as you can see, a number of... We got Takedown to Munch. Uh, all the little animations you would need to handle uh, dealing with zombies. And we have a lot of different animations here. We've got on the ground crawling. We've got uh, attacks going on. We've got uh, standing up from lurch down and so on. So we've got a number of different zombie-specific animations in this pack. Obviously a very, uh, let's say... Uh, specialized asset this month. But again, there's a very Halloween theme going on. Uh, next up, we have the Advanced AI Spawn System. This is a setup for spawning characters in the world. Uh, number of different parameters controlled, different spawn point controlled. Uh, there is a very out-of-control light going on over there. Uh, so, yeah, pretty straightforward, this one. It, it is for spawning um and controlling the spawn of a number of entities in your world. Nothing too exciting on that one. Next, we have probably the uh, biggest asset here. Uh, this is the 4-in-1 Modular Research Facility. Uh, it is everything you see to create, well, what you see in front of you. Uh, but basically, this is, as the name implies, a 4-in-1 pack. So this is just one of the examples. I'll, I'll give you a quick view around this military base. So you're getting things like the sandbags here, the... Um, uh, what are these called? Bullards? Uh, we've got some guard checkpoints. We've got some stop signs going on. Uh, the interior of the buildings are generally fairly empty, but we've got a couple of vehicles here. So if you need to create a military-style base, uh, we've got some missile launch systems going on over here. Uh, so we've got some barbed wire fencing. Again, everything here is uh, modular in nature, so you can... Uh, basically create a number of different environments out of it. Uh, but as the name suggests, this is actually a four-in-one pack. So you'll see over here, we've also got a research facility uh, and so on. So I'll show you the research facility. So let's go in here, maps, and open up the research facility. I believe I've pre-opened this, so we shouldn't have any shader compilation going on. And nope. All right, so let's open that one up. Uh, here, I'll pause just in case. All right, so here we are now in the research facility. As you may be able to tell, uh, some of their research is uh, disturbing. <laughs> so uh, things have not gone well with their projects. I think that seems to be a general trend in the world of uh, scientific research in video games. But as you can see, you're getting all of the content here. Very different from the military base one. So as I mentioned, uh, this 4-in-1 pack is definitely the... Um, the gold mine of assets here, especially if you can incorporate this uh, into the type of game you're... Ooh, there's an elevator shaft. Let's go find out where that goes. Oh, it literally is just an elevator shaft. All right. So everything you need to create these environments uh, is available in this pack. So again, four different sets of environments, all with a very like common-ish theme. So here we got an MRI machine, for example. Uh, and again, we got some, uh, some experiments that seemingly went... Uh, Unwell, we'll call that one. So that is the 4-in-1 Modular Research Facility. Again, there are two other uh, modular packs in this one. Uh, you can see them quickly here. I'm not going to open them up, uh, but you'll see we also have... Uh, so where did I go? I did that wrong. All right, Research Pack. So we've also got the Kite Demo Research Center, the Research Facility, the Underground Research Facility, and we already saw the Secret Base in here as well. So nice pack going on there. Quite a bit of assets in this one. Uh, and then we've got pumpkins. Lots and lots of pumpkins. So this has a 150 variations of pumpkins. Uh, here you can see the Nighttime Demo. Uh, this is what I used for the thumbnail because it seemed kind of appropriate. Uh, it is a pretty straightforward pack, of course. It is for uh, pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, it kind of says what it, it is what it says on the tin, as you can see here. Uh, okay, for some reason there are a ton of shrubs in here. Uh, okay, am I in the wrong thing? Why am I getting shrubs in the Halloween? Oh, there we go. So our pumpkins showed up. So you got a variety of different pumpkins available here and apparently a ton of foliage to work with as well. Uh, so that is the uh, Halloween pumpkins with the 
150 plus uh, variations. Uh, pretty straightforward. So if you want um, pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns for your world, uh, plus all the shrubs and ferns and such that you're seeing going around it, um, that's what this asset is all about. And the final item in the free for the month category is the undead pack, which is everything you see here. It is a bunch of animated uh, Halloweenish themed models. So we've got uh, skeletons here, a number of different animations on said skeleton, uh, some with weapons, some without, uh, including here we've got archers and they're actually doing their animations. Over here we have, I'm guessing, uh, a zombie or a ghoul. Uh, we've got this cool looking, uh, I think they called it a lich, more of a wraith in my world, but uh, again, fully animated, nice high quality models, um, nice animations about them, and then we got different color schemes going on as well, and then we have, I don't know what that is, <laughs> uh, and then over here we have, uh, I guess this would be a zombie, so I'll call the other one a ghoul, so zombie, a number of animations there as well, and that is that pack, very... Um, artistic in style but i do like it it's a good looking asset pack so that is the undead pack and that is the extent of the free for the month stuff again you have until the first tuesday of november to buy these for free and once you've done they are yours forever we also have one addition to the permanently free collection and that is this this is the fantastic village pack again another modular kit uh, this one meshes with the artistic style of the uh, undead creatures we just saw. So you kind of got two different art styles. You got a bit of a realistic art style in this pack. And then you've got a, kind of a cartoony stylized art style. This one is, again, free forever. It looks really sharp, to be honest. There's a lot in this asset pack. Uh, modular, everything you need to create this environment that you see uh, right here. Uh, again, obviously quite stylized, so if it doesn't match your art style, it's not going to be of much use. But again, the nice thing about this one is it is part of the permanently free collection, so you do not need to get this before the first Tuesday of next month. You can grab this anytime you wish, uh, and yeah, that is this month's assets. Um, I, I Pretty good. Uh, definitely got that bit of a Halloween theme going on with them, uh, so if you're not in the need for some undead or some horrible secret labs or some... Uh, Pumpkin's probably not the best pack for you, but there's a little bit here for everybody that, I, again, I think the 4-in-1 uh, Modular Research uh, Mega Bundle one is definitely the biggest one in the pack. This one is actually quite nice as well, as long as it fits your world's art style. We've even got this little uh, water wheel going on here. We got some uh, lake br bridges crossing over. We got some boats here. There is a surprising amount in these uh, these kits for sure. So uh, definitely an okay month. I'm curious what you think of this month's free assets. A quick recap, so we have the uh, zombie movement and modular uh, interaction animations. We have the advanced AI spawn system, and we have the 4-in-1 modular research facility mega bundle, and we have the Halloween pumpkins, 150 plus var uh, variations, and then finally we have the undead pack. Those are all in the free for month category, and then in the permanently free category, we have the Fantastics village pack. If you've never done this before, how you want to go ahead and get these is launch the Unreal Engine launcher or the Epic Marketplace, log into your account go to the free category and go to free for the month you will find them there right here just simply add them to your cart and then check out the other stuff is in the permanently free collection just head on over there and you will find it there just go to it add it to your account and you are good to go and they are yours forever so ladies and gentlemen that is uh the october uh free giveaway uh definitely some nice stuff in here again zombie and movements and animations and ai spawner the uh, Modular Research Facility Mega Bundle, which I think is the, the, the biggest of the bundles for sure. The Halloween Pumpkins, the Undead Pack, which I actually do like the art style of that. And then finally, permanently free, we have the Fantastic Village Pack. Let me know what you think of this month's giveaways, and I shall talk to you all later. Goodbye.